Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Moldy Socks, 1998. Thanks for the suggestion, Moldy Socks. You asked, what is formaldehyde? It's got a name that sounds like a Victorian ghost and a smell that punches you in the nostrils like it's mad at you. But what is formaldehyde, really? Why does it sound like something your science teacher accidentally knocked over in 1997 and nobody ever cleaned up? Stay tuned as we crack open the weird, stinky world of formaldehyde, right here on Explaining Everything. Formaldehyde is what chemists call a simple aldehyde, which sounds polite, like it holds the door open for other molecules. But don't let that fool you. Its chemical formula is CH2O, which basically means two hydrogens, one carbon, and one oxygen, hanging out like it's no big deal. But oh, it is a big deal. This molecule is highly reactive. It's like that one kid in class who always overreacted when you looked at them funny. Formaldehyde jumps at the chance to bond with just about anything. It's like the Tinder user of the chemical world. And guess what? It matches with everyone. Now, this stuff isn't some exotic laboratory potion. Formaldehyde actually occurs naturally in our bodies in tiny amounts. Yep, you're walking around with a little bit of it in you right now. Don't panic, it's normal. Like earwax, or forgetting why you walked into a room. Let's talk production, because obviously we needed more of this nose-burning wonder. Commercial formaldehyde is usually made using a process called oxidation of methanol. In normal person language, you take methanol, wood alcohol, heat it up with a metal catalyst like silver or copper, and boom, formaldehyde comes out like it owns the place. Yes, that's chemistry, but all you really need to know is somebody in a lab decided methanol wasn't intense enough and turned it into formaldehyde, which is basically methanol's edgy cousin who wears all black and listens to angry jazz. This stuff is made industrially in tons, literal tons. Why? Because for some reason, the world looked at formaldehyde and said, more of that, please. Let's not dance around it. Formaldehyde smells awful. Imagine someone tried to pickle a sock in vinegar, then microwaved it in a haunted dollhouse. That's the vibe. Its odor is so distinct and aggressive, it's like your nose gets slapped. And the worst part? You can't forget it. Once you've smelled formaldehyde, your nostrils get flashbacks. It's like a chemical jump scare. People walk into a room with a formaldehyde whiff and immediately think, what died? Is it me? And yes, it's used in preserving stuff, but we're not going there today. No need to think about pickled frogs and high school trauma. Chemically speaking, formaldehyde is like a raccoon with caffeine. It doesn't sit still. That carbon atom in the middle has a double bond with oxygen, making it a carbonyl group. This group is super attractive to other molecules. It's like a red carpet for chemical reactions. Formaldehyde loves to form crosslinks. In nerd terms, it creates bonds between chains of molecules, especially proteins. In human terms, it's the kid at a party going around gluing everyone's shoelaces together. This makes it really good at fixing things chemically, but it also means it can mess with cells and tissues if it gets too cozy. It's not evil. It's just very, very enthusiastic. Like, let's merge forever. 
enthusiastic. You'd think something so small, just one carbon, wouldn't be that noticeable. But nope! Formaldehyde shows up loud and proud, even at concentrations as low as one part per million. That's like one drop in a swimming pool, and your nose is still like, oh, nope! In fact, it's so potent that even nature keeps it on a tight leash. While it's present in fruits, veggies, and even our own breath, it's always in tiny, carefully controlled doses. Too much of it, and your cells start flipping tables. The key to formaldehyde's power isn't size, it's reactivity. It doesn't wait around. It sees a chemical opportunity and goes for it. It's like the molecular version of a speed data hopped up on espresso. It's a simple but chaotic molecule made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It smells like your science teacher's bad memories. It's reactive, relentless, and never just minds its own business. It's produced industrially by oxidizing methanol. It's naturally occurring in small amounts, and it can bond with just about anything it touches. But despite all the chaos, it's also kind of elegant. It's a powerful little molecule that knows how to get things done, even if it does smell like a crime scene in a pickle jar. So next time someone brings up formaldehyde, you can confidently say, ah yes, the chemical equivalent of a tiny gremlin with commitment issues. If you learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe sniff something else today. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.